All right, so you want to, all right, so how do we do it? Paper, rock, scissors, shit. Hey, what's that? Bang! Oh, come oh, on, oh, man, you're a boxer. Oh, and you, oh. You're a boxer and you go for that? <laughs> That's a cheat shot, man. My uncle was the same thing, man. You told me you used to box right then? Yeah, yeah, a long time, yeah. How was it? Yeah, it's tough. It's a tough way to make a living, you know what I mean? But, you know, sometimes that's all you got. And we are back, and you just saw a clip of the movie Counterpunch, which was directed by Kenneth Castillo, who we have here. And you're an indie director, but the movie just got picked up for uh, distribution by Lionsgate, so you're moving on up, right? I'm, I'm slowly but surely moving up, yes. So I guess I want to start, you know, you have you have an accomplished director here, uh, 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 Patricia Reagan, but I want to get, what are some of the obstacles for indie directors, not only getting a project off the ground, finding money, which is the big thing, finding money, but then finding somebody to distribute it. Well, that's that's the major problem, I think. Production-wise, it's gotten mm -hmm. easier because mm -hmm. of the technology, but you still have the issue mm -hmm. of distribution, and once you get distribution, then you have the problem of marketing, because it's great when you get distribution as a mm -hmm. filmmaker, and then the distributor doesn't market it to the right audience or in the right way, and then it just kind of disappears, and you're mm -hmm. kind of left with you know, where's my movie that, you know, you work so hard to get made and get distributed. So I think the issue now is distribution, you know, and, and what I always tell indie, indie filmmakers is focus on distributors that are distributing your type or kind of movie, you know. But again, it's a balance. Are you going to do something that you want to do also? You're not just going to gear it towards a distributor. I do the type of movies that I do. And luckily for me, there has been a distributor for them. There, have, there has been an audience for them. You know, you've been on both sides of the coin. You're a filmmaker, but in Mexico, you were also one of the people who uh, worked for, uh, what's, what's the organization? But you were also kind of deemed that filmmakers worthy of making films. So what, what, what is it mm -hmm. about a project that you think is, is there like a thing? Is there like an it thing that you're looking for, some sort of X factor that's like universal in every project? No? No, because no one never knows what's going to work. The only thing that you can do is write a good story. You know, it all starts with the script, and you have to write really good scripts and then, then make a good movie with it. So that's all you have. It, there's no formula in movies. No one knows anything. Not even Harvey Weinstein knows what's going to work. You know, no one knows. But, you know, you say just write the script. I think there's a lot of writers out there going, but I've written a script. Now, how do I get that script in the hands mm -hmm. of someone that can actually make a decision? How mm -hmm. does that, I mean, how does that work, for, literally, for someone just starting out? Um, there's a ton of ways, you know, but if you have a, a good script, it'll get made. Mm. There, there, that is the hardest thing. And it's about showing it to people, having it people read, maybe getting it to a director, maybe getting it to an actor, maybe getting it to a producer. You know, there's, there's so many people that can read the script. And if it's good, it's going to go through the channels and it's going to get to the place where it gets okay, made. OK, everyone here has a script that they're going to be handing you on the way out today. <laughs> I actually have mine on you. Right. <laughs> In terms of casting, both of you have have cast a lot of very brilliant actors in, in your films. And what is your process for that? I mean, do you do the traditional cattle call, bringing in a bunch of actors, or, or most of them from previous relationships or referrals? Or how do you like to go about yeah. your casting process? Depends. Um, you know, bigger name actors, you don't audition them. You make right. them offers. So basically, you send them the script, and they, if they, they like the character, you meet with them, and you, you offer them the role. You know, there's, a, there's also the traditional audition process where you discover and find really great people, like Sierra Ramirez, who I found through casting, and she's wonderful. And now I think she just got picked up for a new show, a new TV show. She's going to have a great career. And it was an, you know, a Skype audition. So both, both ways. Yeah, work. I, don't, I don't use, um, like she said, with Danny, it wasn't a matter of, Hey, Danny, will you come and audition <laughs> for me? Um, it was an offer. We wrote something for him, specifically for him, and he responded. Um, but normally, I don't, I don't use casting directors at all. I, I'm involved in the casting process from day one. Well, that, that's wow. what I like about filmmakers. They, they, they seem more trustworthy than producers and all the other people that you have to deal with <laughs> uh, when you're making a movie, but I don't want to get them in trouble. Now, we're going to be right back with more Latin Nation with Kenneth Castillo and Patricia Regan.